Cancels. Here, wait. Twelve thousand seven hundred damage, guys. Single dash cancel from pole. From pole, which is her low damage weapon. Uh, like with this um flash bomb, like reset. That there was 10,300 damage, and it didn't cost me any dash cancels, super easily. See like there, that was super late and I still managed to get a combo. And you can get really high damage from that. Whether it's a punish or a, just a regular attack, you know that you're going to be able to get like easy damage off of it there. You, yeah look, 9,000 damage, zero dash cancels. Combo. There we go, 13,000 damage just because she got a wall splat off of her, um, an easy, like, combo from the air by projectile. Actually, I could get even more if I. So they get hit by my. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't reach full screen, by the way, just like her other weapon throws. So, if they get hit by this projectile... They're getting into an easy 12,000 damage combo. <laughs> there you go, you're getting 9,700 damage. You can kind of do this reset. Which, all in all, if the opponent doesn't um, know how to do a just guard or... Well yeah, that's the only way they can get out of it, because you actually can't block this, because you you're in the air. You can't block when you're in the air unless you do a just guard. So all of this together, it does about 8,000 damage if you add up all of the non-connecting combos. Sorry, wait, look. She can get high damage combos into plus ultra 1. So this was zero dash cancels, just a single plus ultra one, and she's getting like 16,600 damage, like, it's not like one of her damaging um, moves. But as you can see, if you get near the ceiling, this move does a ton of damage, because they keep getting hit in that ceiling, and it's ridiculous how much damage she can get from this move in the ceiling. Oh, God. Wait, let me just try and get back to the ceiling. until they get, like, meteor blown. But I want to remind you, that was, like, a stupid... Like, that wasn't a proper combo, that was just me doing some hits into a yellow attack, and it did 10,700 damage, just... And she can get super easy high damage off of that. But I thought it's something that I may as well mention. That she can just always do... Practically can instantly break your guard from any touch. And then go in for her cool combos. Oh, I missed it. But that would have done like 10,000 damage combos. Ten thousand damage, zero dash cancels, just cause you like sold that your button hits. Really good damage this way without using um uh dash cancels and it just does it does make her combos look a lot flashier I, I do agree and if it doesn't uh, meet you blow early then you're gonna get 9300 damage which is which is pretty crazy and then see that all there that was zero dash cancels 9100 9200 damage do that there and then you're getting huge damage, um, that was zero dash cancels, and it was like 11,500 damage just because I like saw that I was facing a wall. So that's the versatility of if she ever realizes she's facing a wall, you get a wall splat, you can summon a new weapon, charge up. And 
then get huge damage. There's not even really a point in doing a dash cancel there, it doesn't add that much damage, but getting 11,500 will get a super easy wall splat. And then you're getting big damage. That was a single dash cancel combo. Pretty high damage. For sure. I just love it so much that this just, they get hit by the spear, and then they just fly all the way into the wall. Which means you can, you know, get a new weapon up, dash in, and get huge damage. That was zero dash cancels, I just like to point out. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, this. And because with um, zero support you can have time to rearrange yourself, I walked so I was facing a wall, summoned my, like, um, got a wall splat from the weapon throw, summoned a new weapon, and then did an extension off of the wall splat. And yeah, I just think the spear form, even though it has slightly worse combos, it is, like, really versatile in what you can do. Zero to um, extend your combos as well. Um, just in any state, if I do like two hits, and then when the second hit hits, I call out, and that adds a lot of damage to your combos. Eleven thousand two hundred damage. Damage if you don't want to do a dash cancel, because you can just jump into the air and then do her air extension. That was eleven thousand damage. I did do a dash cancel though. <laughs> Here, let me show without a dash cancel. Nine thousand damage. There we go. Ten thousand eight hundred damage for a completely free combo. I... There we go. Oh wow, and that's even a wall splat. <laughs> Something like this. I can bring out this. Oh my god! Did you see that? 11,000... Wait, I could make shins off of her air combo, so after I do something like this and I call out Jiro... <laughs> like, 11,000 damage, zero dash cancel combo because I hit them in the air. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy stuff. And so if I do something like this, I can come into my plus ultra too. And that is huge damage starting into my plus ultra 2. And I don't think it's going to scale it that much, so this should do a lot of damage. Oh my god. 20,700 damage. And obviously you could cancel that into the plus ultra 1 as well, and that would do a lot of damage. About Let's get into her combos. So... Where do I even start with Momo with combos? She has so many different routes. So, I already mentioned that she has this, like, loop reset thing, that if the opponent doesn't know how to just guard or time their counter-attack correctly, you're getting a guaranteed, like, 8,000 damage just from doing this. But I don't really like to do this that often because it's kind of spammy looking and it's not that cool, you know? So, if you're in um, regular pole form, a combo that I like to usually do is like this. And ignore that the wall splat happened. If it didn't happen, then it's a guaranteed combo and does 4, 000, uh, 8,400 damage, which is a bit below average damage, but remember, in her pole form, she's really fast attacks and she will do more damage with her other weapons. And as you did the saw just then, um, it actually is really likely to um, be a wall splat. Oh, depending on where the opponent's facing. But, okay, yeah, so, in regular pole form, her combos aren't that interesting. She's not going to be doing that much damage from this form. But, um, where some actually advanced combos come in, even with the pole thing, is, and I haven't seen anyone use something like this, um, she can actually combo into her delayed Madryoshka, um, quirk 2 move, which, um, does combo, and she can combo out of it. And my opponent is on recovery, so this is a true combo. So this combo here is actually true. 
and that means, and it works off of the um, yellow attack as well, so that means that off of a regular attack, if you see that you hit, you can do something like this. And that is 6,000 damage, no dash cancels, which is pretty, pretty decent damage. But that also means if I add in a dash cancel to this combo... Um, ooh, maybe if I <laughs> change it a bit to make... There we go, she's getting 9,000 damage from a 1 dash cancel combo if you want to do those extensions with the flash bombs. And, um, yeah, I think that's a pretty interesting... So, in order to get this combo, you can't just cancel straight into the bombs or else they'll miss. You have to wait a little bit and then cancel into them, and then do a single attack into um, an instant yellow attack. Into the Madryoshkas again. Which can sometimes be a bit hard to get. But if you do get it, the reward's really high. If it do does Meteor Blow, you've gotten pretty decent damage. But I think it's just a really good way, like if you don't want to be spending Meteor in your combos. You can get really good damage this way without using... Um, uh, dash cancels. And it just does it does make her combos look a lot flashier. I, I do agree. And if it doesn't um, meet you blow early, then you're gonna get 9,300 damage, which is really good damage for a single dash cancel in her pole form. Now, let's stop talking about pole form, because it's boring. So, if you have your sword out, you can actually get <laughs> um, really interesting combos. So, in the sword form, she can go three hits, to quirk one and until quirk one weapon throw and then th see that follow up there that was actually a whole combo so <laughs> after her weapon throw she can just do another attack string and it combos which is pretty crazy and then see that all there that was zero dash cancels 9100 9200 damage Pretty high damage meterless, if you ask me. That's what I really like about the sword form. You can always get such huge damage completely meterless. Uh, if it does miss, you're still 8,300. Is still a lot of damage. And obviously, you can put in dash cancels to make it a bit more damaging. But I mean, I wouldn't really re recommend it because you're getting so much damage anyways. Oops, that didn't work. You're getting so much damage meterless, I don't see what the point is of adding a dash cancel unless you know it's gonna like finish the round. 9,500. <laughs> like, it's not that much more. I recommend just going for like completely meterless combos. Especially since like, you are on the ground and if you do want to spend meter, you can go in for her plus ultra one. Um, I didn't... And if you do the full string into it, it does about 17,000 damage. I just didn't want to do it because I'm facing the wall and it would have failed. Wait, if I make Bakugo return to the center a little bit, um, she gets really good grounded combos into a plus ultra one. This is going to do a lot of damage. And remember that that um, entrance combo was completely meterless, so this is just a single plus ultra um, meter, and that did like 16,600 damage, which is really big damage for a single plus ultra combo. Okay. Um, that's basically it for her sword combos. Um, her sword, I don't know if you actually... The combos work as well if you're in the air, I believe, because her attack string leaves the opponent on the ground. You can do, like, if you get a punish if you're in the air, like, say I, like, go to punish the opponent and I do something like this. Uh, the same works, so I can do the same combos. Uh, they can just be a bit tighter though, because it's a bit weird because she has to land and stuff. But you can still do them, like if I make it simple like this. And still get really good damage. Okay. Um, for spear combos... Um, spear is more of a weapon that I like to use as a, um... Kind of just like in this situation, so it's really good for adapting, like, oh, I'm facing a wall, wall splat, 
It's more of a less of a um, combo reliable. I mean, it does do really good damage um, combo wise. So if I you can end your combos and stuff like this, which is a lot of damage in its own, six thousand seven hundred damage, like guaranteed at the end of your combo. So something basic in spear form that you can do would be like um, maybe. Yeah, it would probably just be two hits. Dash cancel, two hits. And then that's 8,900 damage. Uh, that does sound a bit low. I think you can do something like this. Oops, oops, no, I threw it away. Nine thousand six hundred damage, but the main strength of the um, spear form is I feel that like you can get that decent damage. Nine thousand six hundred is by no means bad damage, but she can get really good damage if I've done like a combo, like if I'm over here and I realize I'm facing a wall, you can cancel anything into her spear, and then you're getting big damage. Um, I don't know why I decided to do that there. And then you're getting huge damage, um, that was zero dash cancels, and it was like 11,500 damage just because I like saw that I was facing a wall. So I feel like that's the real strength of the spear form, is just the versatility of if she ever realizes she's facing a wall, you get a wall splat, you can summon a new weapon, charge up. and then get huge damage. There's not even really a point in doing a dash cancel there, it doesn't add that much damage, but getting 11,500 or whatever we had before, really good damage for <laughs> zero dash cancels, obviously. Okay, um, in spear form, uh, she can do the Madriyoshi combos practically the same, except start it with, um, I mean, in any of her forms she can do these combos. I just find them to be sometimes a bit easier in this with the spear because she has more time to hit confirm that the first two hits have hit, thanks to the multi hit at the start. And then you can go into the whole thing again. Wow, that didn't even meet you, Bluff. But yeah. Okay, now, I don't usually talk about sidekicks in my breakdown videos, but I feel like they're really important to know, uh, to Momo's combos. So, especially in spear form, because she has this quirk one that leaves the opponent just, like, jiggling around in the same space, it's really good for combos with supports. Any kind of combo support works, and the, the, you just have so much time. I can call, like, Jiro early, and it'll work. I can call her extremely late, like now and it's still gonna hit the opponent, so it just gives me like a lot of ease in getting super easy hit confirms into combos. And then obviously I can do something like this. Oh man, that meaty blow, damn it. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this. And because with um, Jiro support you can have time to rearrange yourself, I walked so I was facing a wall, summoned my, like, um, d got a wall splat from the weapon throw, summoned a new weapon, and then did an extension off of the wall splat. And yeah, I just think the spear form, even though it has slightly worse combos, it is, like, really versatile in what you can do. And it is a lot easier for hit confirming into support extensions like this, as like I just showed. Get a new weapon up, dash in. And you're getting huge damage. By the way, that 12,600 damage combo, completely meterless. It just cost my Jiro. But that's pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> okay, um, you can actually use Jiro to um, extend your combos as well, um, just in any state. If I do like two hits, and then when the second hit hits, I call out. And that adds a lot of damage to your combos. 11,200 damage? In my regular pole form, that's tons compared to what I'm usually getting. And I think it's definitely worth it, and it, it's just costing me a support. It comes back decently fast, and it adds a lot more damage to my combos. Especially if I do something like, uh... 
like with this um flash bomb like reset. That there was 10,300 damage, and it didn't cost me any dash cancels. Pretty amazing for her pole forms, seeing as like you usually don't get that much damage. And her pole form is so great in many like so many ways because she does her attacks are crazy fast and they reach crazy distances. So if I've ever like hit my opponent with a flash bomb, the fact that I can get uh, like 10,000 damage for free off of any hit is kind of like ridiculous, or I can decide to do a bit more damage, like if I want to put in a dash cancel. Obviously that was a bit less damage because the flash bombs um, scale your combos a bit. But yeah, Jiro is a really good support for extending her um, combos. And it's kind of canon, I like to use canon teams, and Jiro works with Momo because they're, you know, friends in the class. And yeah, obviously she also gives her um, Momo really good just meterless damage if you don't want to do a dash cancel. Because you can just jump into the air and then do her air extension. That was 11,000 damage. I did do a dash cancel though. <laughs> Here, let me show without a dash cancel. Nine thousand damage, pretty good, pretty good stuff for no dash cancels. Nine thousand in, in um, uh, what am I doing? In pole form is really good. Um, obviously using Jiro as a support in that way is really good for um sword because if I've done this combo here, and then that actually messed up a bit. Let me do that again. There we go, 10,800 damage for a completely free combo, I just remind you. That's like 11,000 damage, and I didn't do a dash cancel. And <laughs> doesn't it look so cool as well? So like, I have my sword out, I like from a regular punish, I do this, then I get to go into another attack. Oh, that could have been a wall splat as well. Um, how can I guarantee that that's a wall splat? I don't think I can. Just because of how they're positioned. But yeah, using Jiro is really um, good for any of, her, any of her weapons. So in regular state, just off of her regular attack string, she can get it. With Jiro, um, with her sword form, it's really good because after she extends the combo, she can get it off of the weapon throw and then follow up attack string. And it's really good in spear form because after you do two hits into this, you can summon Jiro. And then you're almost guaranteed to get a wall splat, as long as you're not like facing right into the wall. See that combo, even just there, 10,268 damage, like zero dash cancels. It's pretty good stuff. Um, if I do something like, wait, which does more damage? That, 4,000, 4,300. So if I do something like this, Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I messed it up. Um, something like this. Oh, it missed. What? <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow, and that's even a wall splat. <laughs> Um, when she has the spear out, she can even get really easy extensions off of her air combos, so after I do something like this and I call out Jiro... <laughs> like, 11,000 damage, zero dash cancel combo because I hit them in the air. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy stuff. And all of this is even better knowing that, like, she has these flash grenades, so she's getting these really, like, um... Like, if the opponent gets hit by these, she's getting these all these guaranteed combos. Actually, yeah, I just realized, if I do something like this, I can bring out this. Oh my god. Did you see that? 11,000. Wait, I could make it even more. Um, wait, what? Or... 
Um, yeah, anyways, wait, that's gonna be a lot of damage. So if I do, like, if I catch my opponent with the pole, which is usually, like, the bad weapon, let's see how much damage I can get. <laughs> 10,500 damage from the pole, just because I- and that was zero dash cancels. Here, wait. Twelve thousand seven hundred damage, guys. Single dash cancel from pole, from pole, which is her low damage weapon, or what I thought was her low damaging weapon. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. So, and the same would work with this. If I did. Okay, no, that meaty blows. But yeah, still guys, wait, if I... I feel, I feel like I have to test this now. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stop going crazy combos, but you saw that before, 12,700 damage for a super, like, easy combo using Jiro from her pole, which is a super fast attack. It's pretty amazing stuff. And obviously with all of these, like, crazy ground combos, so if I do something like this... Oh, oh, what? Um, no, no. So if I do something like this, I can come into my plus ultra too. And that is huge damage starting into my plus ultra too. And I don't think it's gonna scale it that much, so this should do a lot of damage. Oh my god, 20,700 damage, and obviously you could cancel that into the plus ultra one as well, and that'd do a lot of damage. It's just, oh, this is why I love Momo so much, she's so much, like, flexibility and, like, able to, like, get good stuff going off of any situation. She's really good, um, uh, block pressure, uh, uh, I don't even know what to say, she's just... <laughs> She's just so fun. She has. She's not an annoying zoning character. Like the only projectiles she has, she uses to get in on the opponent. She has cool combos that aren't really that overpowered. Like they're not um regular Deku or Gran Torino or 100% Deku level damage combos. She has to be in uh, very specific situations in order to get high damaging combos. Um, she has different combo extensions depending on where you are. She has resets, like using her tilt work one, because it re stands the opponent. She is really dependable at getting wall splats, which I really like. So if you ever realize you're facing a wall, you can be guaranteed to be getting big amounts of damage. I don't know why she missed that. But just the point is, she's so flexible, and in certain matchups, if you realize the spear's working better for you, or the sword's working better, you can just change. You can completely change your playstyle. If you're against someone that can pressure you a lot, bring out... Oh, oh there's a cannon as well. <laughs> you can bring out your shields to be able to block infinitely. There's just so much she can do. Like, if you have the, the spear out, you have huge damage. Like, anything. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. That was even wasn't even a proper combo. There we go. Thirteen thousand damage just because she got a wall splat off of her um an easy like combo from the air. She's just so much fun, guys. She has hit confirms with her red attack. A plus ultra one does a lot of damage. I don't think I even mentioned it that much, because like if I just do a regular attack string into my plus ultra one, I'm getting what like ten thousand, twelve thousand damage just for that super easy hit confirm. She's just so much fun, guys. I think Momo is one of the best designed characters in this game. She's not crazy overpowered. I would say she is very strong, but I don't think she has any many or too many exploits. I think this re air reset thing can be kind of annoying and should be fixed. But other than that, she is just, she is so much fun, and I love playing with her. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Ooh, lags. Love that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed all of my breakdown videos that I've been making. Um, if you didn't know, yeah, I have one on every character. So, if you're ever interested in learning on someone, I have a basic breakdown for everyone. But, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in whatever the next one is. Bye!